There is a safety concern at a popular mid-state park, and it all has to do with cell phones and people not being able to call for help. News Force Carly Gordon has been talking to city officials about what the problem is and what they plan to do about it. She joins us tonight live in Hendersonville with what she's found. Carly? Yeah, this is Hendersonville's Drake's Creek Park, and if you come here, you'll quickly find out you can't check the radar on your cell phone. There's no cell service, and while that may not seem like a huge deal, officials in this town say it's actually a very big safety concern, and now they're working as quickly as they can to fix it. A large park that has numerous kids, probably thousand plus kids a night that are out here. It's a popular place smack dab in the middle of a fast growing city and yet when it comes to cell service it's, it's spotty certain areas you have no reception whatsoever. Probably in the top five of complaints I get for all the issues of the city this is in there. Hendersonville Mayor Jamie Clary says the lack of cell service here at Drake's Creek Park has become a major safety concern. We want people to feel safe. We want them to be able to call to get some assistance as quickly as possible. It's also inconvenient considering these days sports fans look for tournament scores on their phones. Also the concession stands, they're not able to take credit cards. The city recently contracted with the company to build a new cell tower and it's not costing the city a dime. In fact, Hendersonville will make money because the tower company will be leasing the land. It cannot get here soon enough. Clary says once this project is complete, they still have work to do. Because like so many places in the mid-state, this city is growing like crazy. And already they've identified several other popular spots with spotty service. There's a lot more traffic on that bandwidth than there used to be. There's also just that there's a greater demand for so much what's going on electronically, and we haven't kept up. Now we're told AT&T and Sprint have already expressed interest in leasing space on that tower. The mayor hopes to have it completed in the next six months, if not sooner.